Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So on the last week, or better to say on this week, uh, we do not have any significant uh, fundamental inputs. Yes, the statistics from the European Union was not bad, but uh, this really light relief for overall situation right now stands in, uh, in Europe, uh, in the political sphere, and the uncertainty around the tariffs and the relation with the United States. So a lot of questions still exist here. And the European Central Bank policy is also stands mostly dovish, and it uh, doesn't promise any you know, drastic uh, changes uh, in the foreseeable future, so at least for 12 months probably it will be the same. Uh, so we, we have put today the brief update on the uh, fundamental view in the weekly report as usual, but we mostly uh, keeping our previous uh, Opinion, as so we have discussed in details two weeks ago and three weeks ago. So there we have put major points of our fundamental view on the European currency. Still some minor update we still uh, have placed. Uh, also, it's uh, interesting opinion from the Fathom Consulting in the recent uh, comments to clients. So they also have some doubts on the perspective of the European economy within the, within the year. Anyway, um, in a short-term perspective, guys, here you see the pattern why we have called for waiting a bit on Friday and do not jump in in the long trade uh, on the euro currency, despite that the intraday chart rally was looking not bad, actually. Uh, speaking on the short-term perspective, guys, on the euro currency, I have some doubts. For, first of all, I'm not really comfortable with the situation on the weekly chart because if you all take a look at the weekly, you'll see that your currency hasn't tested the major FIB levels. So uh, there, we, have the, uh, we have the confidence support in the weekly chart. And uh, euro has missed to reach it for 20, 50 pips. So the upper reversal mostly uh, has happened from the potential neckline of the hand shorts, but the major levels have not been reached. This is the first moment that I don't like too much, actually. Second, uh, on the daily chart, you could see the pattern that we have warned you about. This is bear stock grabber. We said that market actually could show the fluctua fluctuation inside of this most pressing swing on, the, on any depth, because despite how high market will move while it stands inside of this drop, it keeps well at the potential butterfly. And where from the right wing of the butterfly will start, we don't care much. Whether this will happen from that point or from that point, this will be actually the same butterfly and target will be the same. Here, guys, a tricky moment exists, so if we'll take a look at these lows. On the FX Pro chart, it shows that this lows stands below that one. And here we have minor washing greens for the two pips. Uh, well, I have checked the situation on the futures and September futures on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange shows that no washing risk has happened. So, in fact, our butterfly is still valid. It's just uh, uh, some uh, volunteerism from the uh, retail brokers. So, uh, this butterfly is really important because this is very important part of our training plan. As you know, we are still watching for a possible starting upward rally to the 120 area, and the butterflies could become particularly the pattern that will trigger this rally. That's why it's very important. Also, take a look at the destination point of the butterfly coincides with the monthly period support one. And all this stuff stands around vehicle major support. That's why appearing of the butterfly, and if it will be completed, this will just put all puzzle details in places. So, in this case, it will be collected, uh, and we will be ready to start upward journey. Or... If collapse will happen, market will break it. We will definitely know that 
your is tending lower and no upper retracement will happen. So this will be really very important. And in fact, this is the cornerstone of our uh, medium term scenario on the weekly chart. So uh, since the bearish grabber has been formed that we have mentioned on Friday, theoretically, these grabbers suggest the taking out of these lows. But if this will happen, definitely stops have, will be triggered that stands below it. And this will push market lower and, and probably the butterfly will be completed. That's why uh, we have called you to not uh, take the long position yet. So um, on the common week from this uh, shadow from the from the light of this uh, patient have been formed on the coming week we will be watching for a possible downward reversal here so um, that is our Friday ABCD patient that we have talked about market mostly has reached the OP so this will be also agreement with the major 50% uh, resistance you know that your account selects the 50% levels how market will reverse down, well, it, it, could be, it could happen differently. Here, guys, personally, I have put the uh, butterfly, minor butterfly, so because the OP target has not been reached totally, market will open around the weekly pivot point, so maybe so butterfly will be complete, market could start move down or something of that sort. Uh, what trading plan we could create for different traders? For if you're a daily, daily trader, if you trade on a daily chart, you just need to do nothing. So if we will be correct, and market indeed will turn down with the grabber, you just need to wait when the market will hit the, complete the butterfly. That will be the potential point where you could, where we will think about taking the long position. If market will continue move higher and the butterfly will be erased, well, you could try to take some position on retracement with the hope the market will reach 120. But next, our major uh, point in scenario is going short around 120, 121 area. So actually we have the long-term bearish view. And for us, this action to the 120 is just the top of the right arm of the large bearish head and shoulders. That's why we mostly will be watching for taking the short position. Whether you will take long position between this market and the top of the arm, uh, well, this this is up to you. So um, these points are stand beyond our training plan, so we could take the long here, or we will go on short here. That's what's about the daily chart. For the intraday traders who trade on the uh, intraday charts, you could try to catch some minor bullish patterns if market will start moving up, something of that sort. So you can see here was minor, regardless, cheap to buy has been formed and so was able to do the uh, long trade, taking the long position of the target of this ABCD pattern up, maybe something of that sort. If market will reverse down and start dropping, you also could try to catch the bearish continuation patterns on this uh, action. So just keep in mind the major levels where to stop going short. This will be uh, around 114.50, around the monthly pivot support one, and where to stop going long. This should be somewhere around 120 area. So this is a too important moment. But on the Monday, as I said, it's most important will be what will happen with the grammar. If it will be valid, this will be bearish story. If market will erase it and continue to move higher, this will be quite not tune. So let's see what we will get.